this is a this is a diabolically efficient way to to be the king or queen of your of of your neighborhood very 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 quickly. So let me go to Google, and we're gonna pretend that we are a real estate agent. Let's say from oh, thank you, Patty. Thanks for saying I love this. Appreciate that. So. I'm going to type in Scottsdale real estate agent. Okay. And you see here, everyone focuses on this part of the, of the search results. What we're focusing on right now is this section. People also ask, this is a gold mine guys. People also ask is all of the, is, all of Google's algorithmic processing power deciding what the most important questions and answers are surrounding Scottsdale real estate agent. So if you are a Scottsdale real estate agent, why not stand on the shoulders of a giant Google and rely on them to tell you what sorts of questions and answers you need to be discussing with your buyers and sellers? Okay, and then here's, there's a bunch of keys to this, all right? So when you click on people also ask, it spawns more questions and answers. It typically tops out at 70 or 80. Check out, check these out. These are gold. How much do realtors, realtors make in Scottsdale? What are the top realtors? Who are the top realtors in Arizona? Do I become a real estate agent in Scottsdale? How much is a realtor it up? What is the highest paying job in Arizona? Is it hard to become a real estate agent? Is it hard for, okay. So this is more around real estate. Let's just do Scottsdale. Real estate, okay, because these are the types of, boom, you have to refine it a tiny bit. Okay, what is the nicest neighborhood in Scottsdale? Is Scottsdale a good investment? Is it a good time to buy a house in Scottsdale? What is a good salary in Scottsdale? Not, not relevant. There's going to be some of these that just aren't, aren't relevant. You keep going and you find the ones that are, are houses going down in Arizona. Why is rent so high in Phoenix? And so on and so forth. In order to build authority, expertise, and trust, you must ask and answer these questions as an agent, okay? And the let me show you how to do it. So you're going to click on all of the people also ask until it tops out. Then I want you to copy the question. I want you to put this on a spreadsheet. I want you to copy the question that should be in column A. Column B, the answer. The answer is what Google deems to be the most authoritative, relevant answer on the whole internet, guys. So is Scottsdale a good investment? Google believes that this is the most authoritative answer. So I want you to take this and put it in column B. In column C, I want you to just put the original, um, the original keyword that you typed in. And then column D, you can put the actual URL that it's, it's taking you to if you were to click through on this, okay? Now, so now you have in a spreadsheet, like everything with digital marketing starts with keywords, okay? So if you, if you know all the keywords that people are typing in surrounding what you do for a living, you really have the keys to the kingdom, but there's a process to it. So we just put it into a spreadsheet. We're like within an hour and like one, one glass of Cabernet, you've got this spreadsheet that none of your competition will have, okay? And they also will never know how to do these next steps, which are easy. All this stuff is easy. It sounds a little overwhelming at first, but it's easy. And it's, it's, if, it were too, if it were like too simple in one step, then it'd be too easy to replicate. So then you have to reword these answers in order to then post them on the internet. I want you to post them in two places, all right? After they're, they're reworded, you don't have to do any of the rewording, don't worry, I'll, I'll teach you how to do it. So I want you to post the answers on Quora.com, which is like the question and answer website. And the little backdoor trick with Quora is that Google absolutely loves Quora. So when you type in, you know, when you, ask and answer a question on Quora, then Google's going to pick it up and just think about the dynamic. And then when people are interested in a real estate agent, they received your note, they saw your ads, they, they're getting maybe some newsletters from you, and then they're typing in 
questions on Google about Scottsdale real estate. And by God, you're coming up time and again, time and again. And that's modern marketing. So I want you to go to a website. There's two different websites you can use to do the rewording of the answers. It's writeraccess.com, writer as in W-R-I-T-E-R, access.com. Or you can go to upwork.com. And Upwork is phenomenal. Upwork's like the Uber of contractors. It's, it's amazing. You can hire a web designer on Upwork. In fact, that one hack alone, if you guys didn't know about Upwork, is worth the price of admission today. I mean, Upwork is phenomenal. You can hire a great SEO person off of Upwork. Just make sure on Upwork that you hire someone who has at least 1,000 hours on the platform and has at least a 95. Yeah, no problem. Um, Writeraccess.com. Uh, and then uh, Upwork.com, okay? They need to have at least 1,000 hours on the platform and they need to have at least a 95% job completion rate, okay? It's kind of like evaluating your Uber driver. It's the same sort of thing. And those are the two things that if you hire anyone off of Upwork, I want you to pay attention to. But in this context, rideraccess.com, Upwork.com, I want you to hire a rider. Somebody and, and on Rider Access, you'll spend about five cents a word, right? It's nothing to have them reword those. So you're gonna spend a couple dollars per answer. Okay, I want you to have the answers reworded twice. Reword them twice. And by the way, this is like a week later, you're gonna get all the stuff back from the writers and you will have spent, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, maybe, probably a hundred dollars on having these rewritten. Then go to Quora.com, um, put it in the chat for everyone. What did I do? Oh, host and pal. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, everyone, I meant to do it to everyone, not just the panelists. Here, here. Let me uh, let me get you guys this. Rideraccess.com and Upwork.com. Okay, and thousand plus hours on platform for Upwork, and then uh, ninety five percent plus job completion rating. Okay, Upwork, cool. That right there alone, guys, you can hire anyone off of Upwork to design your Facebook ads, to run your Facebook ads, whatever you want. Okay, so then you're gonna post the questions and answers on Quora. And if you have your own website, you're gonna post an FAQ on, on your website, all right? A, just a normal FAQ with all those questions and answers, just, just in a line on a single page. Why is that? Well, Google loves FAQs. And what they'll do is they'll start featuring you toward the top of their search results in this thing called featured snippets. Quora, Q-U-O-R-A, Quora.com. Sorry, boom, there you go. Quora, Q-U-O-R-A, I just put it in the chat. Google will start feature featuring you in the featured snippets. Okay, now here's a little secret. Remember I talk about leaning into the future, leaning into the future. 50% of all searches on the internet are voice searches, voice searches, Alexa, Siri, and, and other devices, okay? Those voice search loves FAQs because the answers are short and snappy and they just, they just algorithmically, they absolutely love it. So if you post an FAQ, guys, on, yes, you can put it in Google My Business q and I could talk for hours about GMB or Google My Business, okay? Uh, I, we just don't have enough time today, but absolutely you can post those questions and answers in, in Google My Business. Um, thanks, Stephen, appreciate it. But you'll, you're gonna start showing up when people ask Siri, uh, you know, What's, uh, is it a good time to invest in Scottsdale real estate? And it'll answer. And if, and if it's your FAQ, you will get a disproportionate share of the answers. And what happens is Google will realize that you're really active on Quora and then it'll see your FAQ. And because you've been so active on Quora, it will give you the benefit of the doubt with the FAQ and it'll rank your FAQ higher. 